What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do animations with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at using animations with Kivi. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Alright, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at basic animations. So we can press our button here, it kind of changes color, it changes size, it moves around a little bit. The text then changes. We're going to do all that in this video. So I've got two files here, animations.py and animations.kv. It's our basic KV starter code that we always have. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And you can find the code for this in the comment section below. There's a link to the playlist and to the code as well. Okay, so we've got our KV file. We've got just a basic box layout. We've got the size set to the root width and height, so it expands out to the entire thing. I set some padding and some spacing here because we want to see these things move around, so we need a little space there. So let's start out. Let's create a quick label, and let's give this an ID of my underscore label because we want to change this later on, so we need to reference an ID of some sort. And let's just put the text for now as hello world, whatever. And let's give this a font underscore size of like 32 just to make it a little bigger. So pretty easy there. Now let's create a quick button. And same thing, let's give this some text of, I don't know, it really doesn't matter, hello, or press me, <laughs> whatever. And I want to give this a font underscore size of 32. Now let's give this a size underscore hint of like 0.5 by 0.5. I want to make it a little bit smaller. And let's give this a position underscore hint of let's go center underscore x and let's give this like 0 0.5 so okay let's go ahead and save this and run it make sure that's looking okay so python animations.py and when we do we get this it says press me we can press it. it doesn't really do anything it says hello world okay so the first thing i want to do is animate this to change colors when i press it let's just change it to a basic blue so we can head back over here to our code and for our button we just give this an on release. Let's just go root dot animate it. And we need to pass in self. Now this animate it doesn't exist. It's a little function we need to create it. So let's save this head back over to our Python file. And the first thing we need to do here is import animation from Kivi. So let's go from Kivi dot animation. We want to import animation. And make sure this is a capital A in animation, and this is a lowercase a in animation. So now we could just come down here to our regular my layout class here, our main widget class, and let's just define that animate it. Now this needs to pass several things. We need to pass self, we need to pass widget, which is the button itself, and we need to pass some sort of arbitrary args arguments. So we can do that. So now we just set a variable, and I'm gonna call it animate. And we set that equal to an animation function. And then inside of here, we just do whatever we want to do. So uh, the first thing we want to do is change the background color. So let me put this on another line. Let's go background underscore color, set that equal to whatever we want. We remember from our colors video, uh, we can go zero, 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 zero. If you didn't see that video, check the link in the comment section below for the playlist. And I want to change this to blue. So remember, it's red green, blue. So I'll just change this third one to one. And that's really kind of all there is to it. Now, the only other thing we need to do is start the animation. And to do that, we just call animate dot start and pass in widget. So it knows what to animate, right? The widget is the button, which is just this thing right here, right? And that's kind of it. So let's go comment this real quick, define the animation you want to do. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it and see what we got here. So when we click this, boom, it kind of turns to blue and then it goes to nothing. And that's because when I did the color, I set the last one, the opacity to zero. We put this to one and then run this guy again and click it. Boom, it just kind of slowly fades to blue. And very cool. So there are several things we can do here. We can set the duration, for instance. So let's just come here, slap a comma here, and let me just put this on another line. We could just set the duration to whatever we want. So 
These are in seconds. So if we want it to go very quick, we could go like 0.2 or something. So if we save this and run it, we click this, boom, it goes really quickly to blue. We could change it, you know, back to very long. If we want like five seconds or something, we could do that. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, you can see it's very slowly changing to the blue. That's kind of cool. We can stack these things. We could do more than one thing. So as you can see here, we're changing, we're stacking them. We can also set the opacity this way too. We go opacity equals, and I could put that to zero. Now I've got duration listed first and opacity listed second. That really doesn't matter. This duration will do everything in here in five seconds. So it's not like it'll change the color in five seconds. And then after it changes the color, it will then change the opacity. It does it all at the same time. So if we save this and run it, you can see this will slowly turn it blue and invisible until it gets to the end in five seconds and the whole thing disappears. So that's maybe not what you want. So how do you make it do things in order, right? So maybe we want the opacity to change after it's changed to blue. Well, we can get rid of this and we can just do another one of these animate statements right here. So we just go uh, do second animation. We just go call that same animate variable. Now, the only difference is we go plus equal because we're kind of adding it to this thing, sort of, right? And then we just call the same animation and then inside of here, we do whatever we want. So if we wanted to set the opacity, to zero, we could do that. Now it will do this whole thing first and over five seconds, it will change our color to blue. And then when it's done with that, it will do this. And oops, I misspelled animation, animation, there we go. And however fast you've set it, I haven't set anything, so it just does the default. We could set a duration on here too, if we wanted to. Uh, we could set, you know, let me put on another line, duration equals like 0.5 seconds, like pretty quick. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. So very slowly, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, and then it choom, very quickly goes to opacity of zero. So very, very cool and uh, kind of easy. Now we're doing basic things here. We could do just about anything you want inside of there. So we can change the, let me change this to three seconds or something, two seconds, three seconds, one second, I don't know. We can change this instead of changing the opacity. Maybe we want to change the size of the button. So we could do that. We can go uh, size underscore hint equals and then just change this to whatever we want. So maybe one and one, right? So if we save this, that will make it bigger, right? And because we originally set this to 5.5 and 0.5. So if we save this and run it, it'll now change to blue and then. Zoop, and you can set the duration for how fast that does that as well. So very, very cool. We could grab another one of these and let's just paste this in and let's do a third animation. But instead of this, let's change it back to 0.5 by 0.5, right? So it'll go big and then it'll go back small again. So save this and run it. I'm just playing now because this is fun stuff, <laughs> right? So we can change to blue, then we're up and then back down. All right, that's kind of cool. And if you press it again, it does the same thing again. Zoop, zoop, right? So very, very cool. We can change, what else do we got here? We've got the position hint. So maybe we wanna change that. So let's head back here and let's do another one. Let me just paste this in. Let's copy this. So instead of size hint, we wanna do position hint. And I don't know, let's put this at 0.1. And let's just copy this again and do another one back to 0.5. So it'll move over and then it'll move back. I don't know. So it's kind of fun. Let's save this, run it. Oh, forgot to change. This should not be a colon. It should be obviously an equal to sign. Same thing right here. It always messes me up because in the Kivi file, everything is with a colon. In the Python file, everything, all those colons change to equal to sign. So sometimes I forget that. <laughs> it seems to be a normal thing. So let's save this and run it again. Bring around over, press it big, back to small, move it over, bonk, bounce it back. 
right? So very, very cool and just that easy. Now, when all of this is done, we can create our own callback if we want to do something else in the program. So to do that, really simple, we just come down here and after this, let's uh, create a callback. And we just call animate dot bind and we can bind this thing. And let's just call on complete. Let's just call self dot, I don't know, my callback. Right. So then we just need to create this thing. And now this won't be in this function, it'll be outside of this function. So right here, so let's define my callback. And here we just need to pass self and maybe some args. All right. And then inside of here, we can do anything we want, right? So if you remember our label, let's just change the text of our label. So our ID for the label is my label, my underscore label. So we can just call self dot IDS dot my label dot text and set this to anything we want. Like, wow, look at that, <laughs> right? Save this, run it. Pretty simple. We can click the button, it turns blue, it gets big, it goes back, it goes over, it comes back, boom, wow, look at that. Very cool. So that's very basic animation. Now there are tons of things you can do with animation and in the coming videos, we're gonna get into it and learn more about this because it's pretty fun, but uh, that's enough to get you started and really, really just that easy. So once again, we just call from kibi.animation, import animation, and then we just create a function. We pass in self widget and args. And then we just do whatever we want by calling this animation function and putting arguments in it. So change the background color, change the duration, change the size, change the position, change the color, whatever you want. And then just remember to start your animation right here. And if you want to do a callback afterwards, just bind the animation. So animate.bind and then on complete, just call it whatever callback you want. Then just come down here and make that callback and do whatever you want in it. So. So pretty easy and uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships to pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeb.com, and I'll see you in the next video.